Previously on Goji Center, we covered an epic battle featuring Legendary's G-Man against the bizarre Shin Godzilla. But today, we will take this a step further and discuss what would happen if Legendary Godzilla failed to incinerate his opponent, allowing the regeneration of Shin Godzilla's fifth and sixth forms. Join us as we closely analyze a hypothetical scenario where these two monsters face each other once again, taking into account the new weapons, abilities, and counters that Shin would bring to the battle arena. Don't forget to subscribe to fill your feed with more battles and more carnage. Coming up, Shin Godzilla's fifth forms and beyond against Legendary Godzilla. Before Shin Godzilla tries to get his revenge, let's first talk about some cool monsters and champs that we found in Raid Shadow Legends, our sponsor. You know the drill. To download, click the link in the description or scan this code to play on mobile or on PC. Up first, we have Cleopteryx, a very strong attack champion who's available to pretty much anyone through daily login rewards, whose best ability is being able to block all skills from the enemy team, making her an excellent choice in PvP and the Hydra. Next up, we have Coronar, another overgrown tanky beast who is so temperamental that if you attack it, it might retaliate and hit everyone on the opposing team. And finally, we have Tatura Rhymehide. This legendary champion is a must-have for fighting bosses like the Hydra, thanks to its veiling ability and defense buffs. This thing will also absorb damage and slap it right back at the enemy. You can level up your champions by taking them through all sorts of in-game challenges, but here's a little cheat. <laughs> to level them up without doing anything, just plop them in this thing called the Guardian Ring and watch them level up by themselves over time. This month, Raid now added new champions, tag arena updates, and the main Deliana chase event where new and existing players can get this free legendary champ just by playing for seven days between now and July 20th. So if you're ready to raid and get all this free stuff, new players can just enter the promo code MYDELIANA to get your hands on everything, including 50 XP brews to get her to level 50 and a crap ton of silver. All new players can hit the link below or scan this code to get Misery Cord, Tiger Soul, and Romero, plus 10 Magic Force and Spirit Brews. Once you're in, find us under the name Goji Center and join our clan. Thanks to Raid for sponsoring this video, and now let's get back to the episode. The Scenario before we generate possible outcomes of this scenario, we first need to pick up where we left off in the previous battle analysis. If you haven't seen this analysis yet, pause this video, go watch it, and then come back. In the previous analysis, we concluded with an unclear winner, given that we aren't 100% sure of whether or not Legendary Godzilla would finish Shin by burning the complete body and the fact that we have absolutely no concrete data on Shin's next forms, should he regenerate again. In this video, we will discuss three possible outcomes that would happen if Legendary Godzilla wins, but doesn't dispose of the entire body. These are completely hypothetical scenarios based on what we already know about Shin. Having said this, let's now enter the simulation platform. Number 1. Duplicate Creatures According to Shin Godzilla's known biology, it is possible that this kaiju's regenerative abilities can be executed in many ways, including the generation of additional creatures, or duplicates. It's mentioned in the film that this Godzilla's body can regenerate similar to a starfish. Once entire limbs or pieces of this creature are cut off, these could regenerate into duplicates of the same creature. In this particular made-up scenario, legendary Godzilla severs the head of Shin and walks away. But these two chunks regenerate, forming two separate entities, two titans, two Shin Godzillas. Now the question, can Legendary Godzilla take on two Shin Godzillas? In order to successfully take on two identical opponents, the G-Man would now have to adopt a different fight methodology than what he usually resorts to. In the past, we have seen Godzilla perform well against a single foe. In a 1v1 match, this titan is very difficult to beat. But against two foes, Legendary Godzilla will probably struggle. In order for this fight to go in the G-Man's favor, his first priority would be to eliminate these two as fast as possible, by closing the distance between himself and one of the opponents. In our previous battle analysis, we see that Legendary surpasses Shin in physical prowess, movement, and intelligence, meaning that this fight can be won by Legendary Godzilla under certain circumstances. In this scenario, Godzilla closes the distance between the first Shin Godzilla and uses it as a shield of sorts to prevent getting hit with more atomic heat rays from the other Shin. Once this one is defeated, Godzilla will then proceed to eliminate the next one by using the same process, approach and kill. 
Failure to follow this method would only mean that legendary G-Man would now get hit from four directions at the same time, making it much more difficult for him to win. If this is the case and Legendary does survive this fight, this kaiju will have learned to incinerate this entire kaiju this time to prevent it from regrowing into something stronger. Note that this scenario does not take into account the fact that Shin evolves into a stronger creature. But what if it did? The next simulation will uncover just that. Number 2. Shin Godzilla's Fifth Form in the previous battle face-off, we discussed Shin Godzilla's most unique ability, which was its ability to evolve into a stronger kaiju. Now, it's really important to note here that the way this regeneration functioned depended on a few variables. Shin Godzilla evolves to counter whatever its opponent is at that point in time. Let us explain. At the end of this film, we saw Shin Godzilla's body get frozen thanks to a special coagulant that stopped this animal from functioning. Had this not worked, Shin Godzilla would have evolved into these smaller humanoid creatures you see here. That's right, folks. In order to combat humans more effectively, this creature would evolve into smaller Godzillas that would wage war against humanity at a smaller and more functional scale. But in today's scenario, Shin Godzilla went up against a more powerful G-Man, lost, but luckily was not blasted to ashes with atomic breath giving him the opportunity to regenerate to a fifth form. Note that this fifth form will now be custom-built to counter anything the G-Man has the edge on. In the previous video, we saw that in terms of melee weapons, Legendary Godzilla far outweighed Shin. This is now about to change. Shin Godzilla's brain has collected enough data on Legendary to come up with a new body of its own. First, its posture is now more animalistic, allowing it to face forward and orient its head at a better angle. Now it has longer and stronger forelimbs, tipped with sharp points to inflict melee damage. Its legs are now better equipped for faster movements. Additionally, this creature's muscle concentrations have now shifted to give it a stronger core. In the previous film, we witnessed an underdeveloped head starting to form at the tip of this tail. Now Shin comes equipped with two heads, better fitted to attack from many angles. And finally, because Shin seems to increase in height in every phase, Shin Godzilla now has a size and weight advantage over Legendary Godzilla. Not to mention any potential upgrades with its atomic blast! Now, would Legendary Godzilla be able to defeat this titan? At this stage, it would have been almost impossible for Legendary to defeat this titan. But there's still one weakness that all Shin Godzillas have energy depletion. If for whatever reason Legendary Godzilla figures out that this titan's energy depletes at fast rates, the G-Man would once again have to change his fight methodology. Instead of charging head-on against a stronger physical kaiju, the G-Man would now have to taunt Shin into using its atomic weaponry, dodge these attacks, hopefully for enough time for Shin to be fully depleted of energy, where the G-Man could move in and finish off Shin. But failure to get Shin to waste its energy would only mean that Shin would completely destroy Legendary Godzilla in a close 1v1 confrontation. Or worse, get blasted to death by a superior atomic weapon. This scenario now seems very difficult to win for the G-Man. But let's say for whatever reason, Legendary G-Man survives and Shin Godzilla is given enough time to regenerate to yet another form. Number 3. The Sixth Form this simulation will be taken a step further and develop another alternative ending to this fight. In this scenario, Legendary Godzilla survives the encounter with Shin's more powerful fifth form, but Shin now aims to annihilate the G-Man. In order to do this, Shin Godzilla will now develop a final form capable of surpassing Legendary in every single way. What does Legendary Godzilla still have in its favor? Even if Shin surpasses Legendary's atomic capabilities at this point, Legendary's atomic breath is still a dangerous weapon, capable of still inflicting serious damage if used correctly. But this sixth form will now evolve into something that will leave no edge to the G-Man. In the past, there has been something that was used to effectively counter the effects of Godzilla's atomic breath electromagnetic pulses. These, according to some official MonsterVerse sources, mitigate the effects of the atomic breath, making it weaker and less effective. If this concept is migrated into this fight, Shin Godzilla would have developed its own version of an EMP, tuned specifically to counter its opponent's atomic blast and not its own. 
Another attribute that Shin could now upgrade is its locomotion. In the film, it is mentioned that this ability to evolve would have eventually allowed Shin to be capable of flight. Precisely the type of locomotion abilities that would let it have a definitive edge over legendary Godzilla. Over time, this thing would have become even more effective at killing Gojiras, better than any Muto in the MonsterVerse. This new winged Shin now has the ability to fly or glide towards a lesser Godzilla, using its EMP-like ability to snuff out the G-Man's atomic breath and bring down the G-Man with sheer brute force, or use a new atomic ray of its own. We could go as far as to say that this Shin can now emit atomic blasts from more controlled parts of its body, including its arms, tail, and other areas. But would you believe that this isn't the end of it? According to the lore, Shin Godzilla could technically evolve to astronomical proportions, bigger than any kaiju we have ever witnessed. Although this concept is a little too ungrounded in reality, the point remains. If not stopped or destroyed completely, Shin Godzilla would become the strongest and most powerful Godzilla of all time. Do you think Legendary Godzilla really stood a chance in any of these three scenarios? Do you still think Legendary Godzilla could win against Shin's sixth form? Let us know in the comments! Please subscribe to this channel to fill your feed with more awesome kaiju mini documentaries and go check out our merch! Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next one!